and gentlemen, we interrupt this program to bring you breaking news from the observatory at Rockwell. I, in over 20 years of broadcasting, I'm at a loss for words. I can only describe what I'm seeing as not from this Earth. Something is emerging out of the spacecraft. It's raising its hand. Perhaps a sign of peace. No! We are under attack. Ladies and gentlemen, due to technical difficulties, we are unable to continue the broadcast from the Rockwell Observatory. Pathetic humans. All right. Hey, guys. It's Nerdle Rukia. And hey, Nerdle Servo. And welcome to the show. We thought we'd play a little bit of uh, the old school destroy all humans before the new one comes out in just a little bit. Hey, we are rebooting it, which is long overdue. Um, the Shrill Humans, I believe, was a series, had three or four sequels, um, each taking place during a different decade. And uh, this is the very, very first one, and I'm excited to get into it. So am I. This I fucking love this game. Nostalgia. Let's go! And we will go ahead and say we will be playing the new one when it launches, hopefully, uh, the, day it, the day it releases. We do have pre-orders. We get... So. A few days before. That's true. Because we pre-ordered it. Yeah. So. So I'm super fucking excited. So let's go ahead and jump into it. New game. Empty slot. This is so old school. Holy shit. This is the original Xbox. Carry some forward. <laughs> Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Only they knew. <laughs> All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. <laughs> Sorry, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> your recipe will remain a secret. Them. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this, but the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. 
Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136, to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. <laughs> I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what <laughs> I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. I don't know if you know this or not, but the character of Crypto, whatever number you are. Um, 137. Yeah. He's actually being... Mm -hmm. It's not actually voiced by him, but they're doing a Jack Nicholson impersonation. You know, the Very shiny. Very nice. Here's yeah. It's Johnny. Yeah. No, that was fucking awesome. I've never actually played the first one. I played the... I don't think I have. I played the ones at the 80s. Everyone's played Path of the Pharaoh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thinking yeah. it was the first one. But no, that was fucking great. That cutscene was fucking awesome. <laughs> All right. So I guess, I guess the hangar? I guess so. Invade! We shall invade the humans! I love how, like, everything is as cliche as possible. Like, oh, yeah. The design of the aliens, the saucers. It's so fucking great. And the cows! Can't forget the cows. Plane 9 from outer space. <laughs> I'm surprised I got the rights to use that as a title. Of course, we have to spawn in with the of fucking course. farm. That farmer is oblivious. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. I'm really excited for the reboot. Me too, I'm so fucking excited. The new age graphics are gonna make this most Autobox chaotic game in the world. 137, come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto, to ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! <laughs> I love that. You may look in aim Here we go. by physically manipulating the right thumbstick. You can move about the area using the left thumbstick. You already have your jetpack, too. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna say one thing. His, like, overlord guy sounds so much like Invader Zim. Oh, yeah. I'm like, so much. I'm pretty sure this came out before Invader Zim. Move. Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creature. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. <coughs> At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. <laughs> I, 
don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. Jesus. This is gonna be really hard to commentate over because there's so much. Yeah, funny there's dialogue. so much. There's so much funny dialogue. I feel like we're totally obsolete. Like, there's no reason for us to be here. We could just play, and it would be it. 